tabla. A speaks truth. in 75% of the cases seventy five percent of the cases and B speaks truth in 80 percent of the cases. What is the what is the probability probability that their statements statements about an incident an incident do not match do not match so that means if any incident is there a speaks truth in 75% of the cases whereas b speaks truth in 80% of the cases so what is the probability that their statements about an incident do not match that means they contradict each other so the contradict each other means if a speaks truth b speaks lie if a speaks lie B speaks truth. The two cases we have to consider. That probability we have to find out. So that means the prob the event that their statements about an incident do not match say E. Now we have to calculate P of E. So first you write down like this. Let A be the event that a speaks truth about an incident. Let B be the event that B speaks truth about the same incident only what is given here p of a so p of a means don't get any confusion 75 percent means for 100 cases that be 75 so 70 by 100 and p of b 80 percent p of b means 80 by 100 so you keep like this only now write down And also here A comma B are independent events, independent events because they do not depend each other. So let E be the event that they contradict each other contradict each other contradict each other so that means here e is equal to we can write like this a speaks truth b speaks lie union a speaks lie b speaks truth that means otherwise b actually does not speak truth here a does not speak truth P of E you have to find out. That means P of A intersection B bar union A bar intersection B 
using addition theorem this can be written P of A intersection B bar plus P of A bar intersection B. Again multiplication theorem you have to apply because A comma B are independent events you might have already proved in your classes. A bar B bar also independent if A comma B are independent A bar B bar also independent. So, using multiplication theorem you can write P of A into P of B bar plus this is P of A bar into P of B. So, this we can write P of A into 1 minus P of B simple formula this is plus 1 minus P of A into P of B just substitution. P of A is 75 by 100 that is 80 by 100. 75 by 100 to 1 minus 80 by 100 plus 1 minus 75 by 100 into 80 by 100. Okay. So, now simple calculation you have to do it. 75 by 100 multiplied by 20 by 100 plus 25 by 100 into 80 by 100. So, 0, 0 gets cancelled 25 1 ja, 25 4 ja. So, now 25 5 ja, 25 4 ja, 25 3 ja, 3 by 20 plus 4, 2 by 10. Here 20 is the LCM, 3 plus 4, 7 by 20. So, this is the answer.